Hello, my love bugs. Um, let's do the battle of the smudge pots, paint pots, something along those lines. Um, Noelle suggested the, the battle of title, and I like it. I just, I don't know what I've decided at this point to call it. Battle of the color pots? Anyways, uh, my sweet sissy April, whose channel will be linked down below, sent me these really lovely um, elf smudge pots, right? That The elf ones are smudge pots. I, I tried to like do my research and then I do this weird thing where like I psych myself before I sit down to film. So the camera was off and I, I looked everything up on the websites and then I'm like, okay, Sarah, like go go back, say the, say the facts, the prices, the amount of shades, the whatever. And I couldn't. I've like been here 15 minutes trying to remember everything, so I'm gonna leave my computer here so I can tell you <laughs> prices and all that good stuff. That was a tangent that somehow I don't forget where I was going with it. But anyways, um, Sissy sent me these uh, smudge pots from Elf, and I have my Mac paint pots, which I love. Um, I'm not gonna pull them all out. I have a whole video on swatches of these guys that I will link down below. But I adore paint pots like nobody's business. I think they're amazing. Um, I use them as a cream shadow underneath powder shadows. I use them on days when I just want something quick. I'll just pop them on by their uh, on their own. Um, something like this one, which is a darker color, I will use as a liner. If you have never experienced the joy that is Rubenesque, which you're not even going to see the beauty of uh, on camera, I remember trying to explain how much I love this to April, and she was like, "No, no, I believe you, I believe you." And then when I sent her one in our swap, she's like, "You just go watch that swap video. I'll link it down below." with her reaction to this paint pot. There is something magical in Rubenesque. Just go swatch it, because it's just phenomenal. Um, you know actually what it reminds me of, come to think of it? There is a super overpriced Clé de Peau gloss. It's a $50 gloss, I know. That's a discussion for another day. But um, this gloss is just absolutely gorgeous, and it has, it's peach, but it has that green veining in it. Can you guys see that? And so Rubenesque reminds me a lot of that. It's a different peachy color but it's that same kind of yeah just gorgeous so anyways instead of doing a full-on swatch video on these because April has a phenomenal swatch video on these that I will link down below um, I thought I would do a battle of so I took whatever I could find the closest dupe I had for in my collection or not dupe but like the closest comparison so I could compare them to each other so as you can see these are not the same color but working with them as a base um, with shadows I know crease I thought they could save the, serve the same purpose so I used um, brownie points from elf and then constructivist from Mac um, I'm gonna show you a close-up of them in my eyes um, so Mac the Mac one is on my right your left uh, and elf is on the other eye and so putting them on um, I was surprised because when I swatched them on my hand the Mac one tends to go on a lot creamier um, the the elf one when I swatched it on my hand to play with it it seemed a little bit stiffer but going on they both went on equally creamy they both blended out with my finger really nicely um, the only difference in the application process for me when I put them on was that the Mac one was a little more opaque than the than the elf one so I had to use a little bit more product with the elf one to get that opacity up so we could sort of match intensity on both eyes um, I then went ahead and used my adorable sister bought me this um, Dior color designer all-in-one makeup palette. Uh, she bought it at duty free at the Heathrow Airport. So um, to put the the paint pots underneath the shadows that I know crease. I love this palette that she picked up, but the shadows do crease a lot. And so um, I showed you guys that close up to show you what it looked like at the beginning. Um, I'll I'll probably bring you in closer right now too to show you what it looks like under these guys. I hope you guys can see that, but um, this is what it looks like sort of like 15-20 minutes after uh, application. Again, MAC is on this eye and ELF is on this eye. So yeah, um, let's talk about paint pots and smudge pots for a sec. So the ones from ELF uh, are $3 for 5.5 grams of product, and it looks like they have one, nine shades, um, ranging from like pinks and yellows. I'll link both the websites down below, but $3, 5.5 grams of product, um, and 12 shades. MAC has over 20 shades, $21 US um, a paint pot for 5 grams of product. Um, so product amount wise you're getting about the same. The e.l.f. ones are obviously a fraction of the price. Um, the MAC ones you have a bit more range in, uh, in color than the e.l.f. ones. I will say this off the bat when you're talking about packaging. 
This is a plasticky container with a very plasticky lid. This is a glass container with a sturdier plastic lid. And so when I have them sort of side by side in my hand, the packaging on this one um, just feels sturdier. Um, I like glass containers for products. I feel like it helps them last longer. And just this, this one, packaging alone, this one sort of wins. And to give you an example of another drugstore, um, product. So this is the 24 hour color tattoos from Maybelline. So I find in terms of packaging comparison, this is again, uh, metal and uh, a metal glass. The top is plastic. It's not quite as heavy duty as this plastic, but it's, it's more heavy duty than the elf ones. So, um, I think elf could do probably a little bit more with their packaging. These are cheaper than these, like the, the elf are cheaper than Maybelline. So again, but, um, strictly on packaging, I really much prefer the, um, the Mac packaging. That doesn't make or break a product, it's just <laughs> a part of what I talk about when I review. Um, and so like I said, for application they both went on and blended equally easily. Uh, one just, uh, the MAC one was just a little bit more opaque than the e.l.f. one. Um, I think that's all the detail background that I want to give you. I will drop back in at the end of the day um, to see how they lasted on the eyes, um, if there was any creasing, any smudging, any of that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, there were, I had no issues with blending my eyeshadows when they were on, um, so that wasn't an issue. But yeah, we will check back in at the end of the day and see how they held up. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I want to tell you for now. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Yeah, if you guys have watched the Foundation Review Monday that I filmed on the same day as right now, you know that I've discovered the joys of espresso and all the loveliness that's doing for me. If you haven't seen my ramble about my new love affair with espresso, I will link that video down below so you can see what all the craziness is about. But we have been wearing this eyeshadow for eight hours and I did want to check in with you guys um, to show you what is what. So let's do, let's show you up close and then we can talk about it. Looking straight at you and down, hopefully. Um, this is the eye with the MAC Paint Pot and this is the eye with the um, e.l.f. Smudge Pot trying to make sure that I'm in the frame. Um, looking at it right now in my mirror, I feel like this one is creasing a little bit more than this one, um, but it's very, very hard to tell. I'm worried that you weren't able to see me. So I did my whole spiel up close, and if for some reason I kept cutting, cutting in and out of frame, I thought I'd film my whole spiel out of frame, um, out of that close up so you can uh, uh, actually see and hear and not like just disjointed parts of my face on camera. Anyways. So what I was saying was that I feel like when I'm looking sort of in the mirror in front of me, um, I find that this one, especially the up here, where that like um, sort of between the crease, I feel like there was a little bit more um, creasing and, and, and a little bit more of like that. Do you see what I mean? Like I feel like there's more of a gap here than there is here. It's creased a little bit more. It's worn off a little bit more my shadow on the elf side than the Mac side. Um, but nothing super major. And throughout the day, um, I was hanging out with my sister, so I kept, like, w trying not to be biased and just asking her what she thought. She actually thought that throughout the day, the e.l.f. side wore a lot more vibrant, um, a lot more rich than the MAC side. And she didn't know which was which. She, I was just asking her which she, she thought wore better. Um, now that I'm sitting in front of the lights, having to really, really focus, I feel like this, the e.l.f. side, just still like a touch wore off a touch more than the than the Mac side. But um it ugh. I've been out in the sun all day, I've been out and about, it's been really humid, and so they have both held up ridiculously well. So I would definitely say that if um you don't want to spend the money on the Mac paint pots um for twenty dollars, these elf smudge pots at three dollars will do the trick. Um they'll hold all day um, they'll give you the same kind of intensity, they're the same kind of formula at a fraction of the price. Um, where I think MAC holds an advantage, in my eyes at least, is if you are the kind of person that buys makeup for packaging, I think MAC takes the packaging hands down. Or the other thing is that, like I said earlier in the video, there are a lot more shades in the MAC range than there are in the e.l.f. range. So if um, you find that there's a color in MAC that you can't find in e.l.f., that's probably another reason that you would you could go for the MAC ones as opposed to the e.l.f. ones. But in terms of wearing them as cream shadows as a base, um, I definitely would say that they're basically on par. It's really hard to choose a winner in terms of um, long wear ability and all that kind of good stuff. Um, 
yeah, I think that's all I want to tell you. Um, I'm so grateful to have these three new uh, beauties from April so I can get to play with them and wear them and I just I love cream shadows like I said in the beginning of this movie this movie <laughs> it's gonna be a movie at this length of this video um, so yeah it's like almost midnight and I'm starting to fall asleep so I'm gonna log off for now but let me know which of your which are your favorite paint pots from Mac and smudge pots from elf um, like I said, these are products that I really adore, so I would love to hear your, your recommendations. Um, let's do points of positivity so I can go wash my face and go to sleep. First point of positivity. has definitely got to be a nice day outside today. Um, we had some family in from out of town, and um, I thought about vlogging for a while, but it was just one of those really lovely mornings where you just all sort of spent some quality time together, and we're outside and had some breakfast and all that fun stuff, so it was just a low-key lovely morning. My second point of positivity is I went to the mall in the afternoon, I did a new power cord for my laptop and um, I'm sitting there about to, you know at the Apple store you have to like actually approach someone so they can help you pay, there's no register. So I'm sitting there staring at this one guy that works there, he was, his back was turned to me and my sister's like, um, Sarah, why don't you go ask him, like I've never known you to be the kind of person that was like shy to ask, like to, to pay and to leave, I was like, no, 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 I know this guy from somewhere, somewhere, I'm just trying to figure out from where. Turns out he's one of my favorite salespeople at Sephora, I remembered like just in time, um, at Sephora that I go to, um, and it was really fun because other than the fact that we, I bought my power cord or whatever, we just stood there for like 20 minutes like, oh, I haven't seen you in so long, and he was catching me up on what he's been up to and the new makeup that he's been buying and um, recommending stuff to me, so it was like a really fun way to chat makeup at the Apple store. It was just a fun little, I don't know, just one of those moments, you know? Um, and my third point of positivity for the day is just getting to play with new makeup. Um, it's been a couple weeks, uh, of just getting to test out a bunch of new products. I did, uh, swaps with two lovely friends of mine, so April, who you know well, um, whose channel I'll link down below, and Charlie, who I don't know if she's ready with her first video yet, but I will link her Instagram down below because I know she'll make the announcement there. So um, make sure to go check her out on Instagram and um, follow her there so you know as soon as um, she's up and running. But both of them sent me great things for our swaps and I've just been having so much fun. Um, I had a couple weeks there with videos where I still enjoyed making videos but um, I didn't have really fun new products to play with and having fun new products to test out just makes these reviews and these videos so much more fun for me. So um, it's been a couple weeks of just really exciting videos which is awesome um, and makes these long nights of filming and editing just that much more fun because I'm really excited about the videos. Um, yeah, let me know what's been bringing you guys a smile and um, sunshine and happiness and smiles and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I truly, truly want to thank you guys for being here. You really are phenomenal. And I so, so appreciate all the time that you put into being here and engaging and, and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, I'm going to go for now, but I will definitely see you soon. And I want to remind you, as always, that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.